Welcome to Xamarin Inform Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to handle notification click event inside our Xamarin Inform project. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how to implement Firebase notification inside our Xamarin Inform Android project. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to handle the click event on the notification. So, basically, to adding a new accent to our notification we have to set an accent to our notification so go to the android project and uh, inside the android project we already created a class called notification helper and this helper class is responsible for sending the notification and here is my create notification method and this method will send the notification to the application so inside this application we are going to add a new action so let me create a intent i am taking an intent and i'm here i am creating a instance of an intent and inside the intent we are passing two parameter the first one is the context so uh, we already have our context here is m context so i am passing the m context and next the activity so i am declaring here the main activity so i am using the type of main activity okay so in this line we are just creating a we create a simple instance of an intent and next we are going to add a flag of the intent intent dot add flag and I am passing activity flag dot clear top. So the activity flag dot, dot clear top means that when we use this flag, it will reset our activity. That means if our application already have multiple activity, then it will clear the previous activity and it will open the new activity. Next, we are going to add a intent dot put extra so is using this intent dot put put extra we are just passing this title and message okay so here i am passing the title and message title as a, a key and the data as a message okay fine so after that create a pending intent new pending intent dot get activity pending intent dot get activity and here i am passing the m context again so the first parameter is context and the request code here i am passing the request co code as zero and our intent so i am passing the intent here and the next we have to pass the flag so we need to pass the pending intent flag so pending intent flag dot one sort that's it so after creating this pending intent we have to pass this pending intent inside our builder notification builder so here is our notification builder and i'm adding set content intent and i am passing here this pending intent so that means We just attach our pending intent inside our notification builder so that when we click our notification it will set an action of this pending intent so after that we have to go to the main activity so here we are just adding the action inside our notification builder after that go to the main activity and inside the main activity we are taking a simple flag so before the load application we are taking a simple flag boolean flag and i am setting this boolean flag as false after that i am checking the intent flag if intent dot extras
not equals to null that means if this intent extra is null if intent dot extras not equals to null then we are just passing this flag as a true that means when user click on the notification it will call the on create function and after that uh, here uh, we just pass the notification inside the notification we just pass the title and message so when we pass this intent dot put extra data so it will receive from here okay so that's it so if this intent have these messages so here i am checking if these messages are there then it will check the condition here and after if the messages is not null then the flag will be true so after that we are just passing inside the load application and uh, after this load application we are passing the new app and inside this app we are just passing the boolean property so next go to the app app application so next go to the application class go to definition and here i am taking the argument as boolean shall navigate okay so inside this application constructor we just set the main page equals to new navigation page and new main page okay that's it and uh, first of all we need to check this boolean property if this boolean property is true then it will open the dashboard activity so we have to add the dashboard activity so here go to the pcl project and we already had a simple dashboard content page inside the dashboard content page we just have a single level so uh, so after uh, when the user click on the notification it will open the dashboard page so okay so uh, inside this application class we just check is shall, na shall navigate boolean property is true then we have to set the main page as dashboard page else it will open the main page so first time when our application first time run then this intent this intent extra will be null then this will be false so after passing this false value it will open the main page so when the user click on the notification so after clicking on the notification user just passing this put extra that means the title and message which one we are passing from the to the notification so we are just adding this put extra data and this data will be received from here so that is the main reason we, we are checking this intent dot extra not equals to null if user click on the notification then this intent dot extra not equals to null that means it will be true okay so after passing the true value it goes to the application application page and uh, this shall navigate boolean property is true then it will navigate to the our dashboard page so let's run our application okay so here is our application so i am going to send a new notification okay so i am going to send the notification okay so uh, we just received the notification so after clicking on this notification we can notice that this dashboard page is being navigated so using this pending intent action we can navigate our our pages okay so that's for today if you have any confusion then you can comment us so thank you for watching have a great day